water signs Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what do, what do your spirit guides want to tell you. Okay, so what is the universe wanting to communicate with you? What messages are trying to reach you? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below. Okay, guys. So it looks like you have a lot of um, a lot of things to be grateful for, and a lot of things to be happy about. It feels like the universe is trying to communicate to you um, through through different various forms. The conversation is taking place through signs and synchronicities, repeated number patterns, uh, reoccurring. Um, symbols, reoccurring images here, um, maybe through the use of like, uh, say, butterflies or dragonflies. Uh, it could also, these messages could also be trying, uh, could be coming from and trying to reach you via your dreams. Okay, so some of you might be having the same, you, maybe you're experiencing the same or very similar dream. And the reason why even some of you, you feel like maybe you're some days you're sort of caught up in a bit of a, like a groundhog day kind of energy. That's because some of you are, you're not necessarily, maybe you're not receiving the message the universe is trying to convey to you. And therefore that message is then coming, um, it's being repeated time and like it's being repeated until you learn, you know, what the message is or what the lesson is behind the message. Um, I'm definitely seeing what the universe is trying to communicate with you via a specific romantic energy or is trying to communicate something regarding a romantic situation in your life. Maybe this is someone whom things didn't necessarily work out with. Maybe um, you know this person might have ghosted you or might have um, abruptly left the situation. Uh, maybe this is someone whom you're currently in not a you're not in contact with this person, you're not in a um, you know union or a connection with this individual. But um, I do see that the cards seem to be signaling that with the Four of Wands, there is a return of someone very special in your life. Um, you are going to feel a little bit uncertain, okay? You might be receiving some um, communication from this individual, unexpected communication that comes in from someone who is returning sincerely. It didn't work out the first time around, but it feels like there was a reason for why it didn't happen um, and why the union didn't manifest. Maybe the both of you were not ready. Maybe this person didn't have that emotional maturity then. Um, maybe, you know, the both of you had some inner work to do. It feels like there may have been more than just the one reason as to why the union didn't manifest. But because you guys still have a destiny left to fulfill, uh, there is someone who's coming back to you or you're coming back to someone you might be coming back to a connection um, a romantic energy might be coming into your life to reconcile or perhaps even um, provide closure so the universe is kind of giving you a heads up regarding this person or regarding a situation okay so um, it's that so you're not completely surprised you're not completely taken aback some of you might even have dreams of this person returning back to your life or dreams of this person communicating with you and then shortly after they do just that um, for others of you you are if you've recently 
gotten romantically involved with someone it feels like this is a going to be a long-term connection a long a long-term commitment a lasting commitment that potentially could result in the four of wands energy so uh, marriage moving in together an engagement um, it's this is taking you down a very joyous harmonious happy path it's this four of wands situation um, you're going to be truly happy with this individual Okay, you're going to be, um, it's like this person is going to give you everything you've ever wanted from out of a relationship, from out of a union. It's like this is someone whom you've been looking for for all of your life or a type of love you always deserved, but you were kind of holding out and you were waiting on. So the universe wants you to not hurry any, don't hurry anything, don't hurry the process. Um, you know, let it happen for you. And things are happening for you. They're not happening to you. They're happening for you. So be patient with how things are unfolding. Even if you don't necessarily feel like it's happening in your timeline. It is happening and it is serving your greater good. You also need to heal a situation of some sort. Something... Something someone said or some sort of wounds that you still carry with you, they still fester and you need to heal that. Because if you don't, you can only bury it for so long. So, you know, your spirit guide, the universe, he wants you to make sure that you take care of you. You're always busy taking care of everyone else, but it's time that you take care of, you know, numero uno, your number one, who's you, right? So... Heal any wounds that still fester, whether they're emotional, physical, or spiritual wounds here. Um, because you cannot, you know, th those wounds, if you do not heal them, they'll continue to reopen time and time again and bleed all over into the present, into the situation. So something needs healing in your energy, and you know what that is. But you've been putting it off. You've been putting, you've been sort of delaying healing this um, pain. It's time to it's time to really look into it, guys. Also, King of Swords here is inviting for you to speak your truth, whatever that may be. Okay, some of you have been holding back from saying what it is that you mean, mean when mean what you say, say what you mean. So speak your truth to whoever needs to hear it. Um, and the devil's energy here. There's something here that is simply it's. Simply put, it's taking away from your happiness. It's not contributing to your happiness. It's taking away from your happiness. And it's also depleting you of your energy and your strength here. So whether it's... It can be something like you... Um, it can be something like an addiction of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be an addiction to drugs or, you know, an illegal substance or alcohol. It can be that maybe you're addicted to sugar or, you know, you might have habits that aren't necessarily healthy or balanced um, you know what your vice is you know what this toxicity is you know what it is that you're doing or you're not doing that's harmful that's detrimental to your health so and if you don't know it's time for you to take a closer look at what's draining your energy what's leaving you exhausted what's leaving you feeling unhealthy and unhappy here and it's time to cut that out Okay, so the devil is, you know, yeah, it's inviting you to make a choice between the short-term pleasure that something is causing you or the long-term pain, essentially, that it's giving you. Okay, and these are your messages. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.